Assalamu alaikum, this is Shothri Sama. Welcome to All Evening News. You have just heard the Crown 7 headlines. Now let's move on to the details. U.S. President Joe Biden and Bangladesh Chief Advisor Professor Mohammad Yunus have affirmed the close partnership between Washington and Dhaka, which is rooted in shared democratic values and strong people-to-people -people ties. President Biden welcomed further engagement between the two governments and offered continued U.S. support as Bangladesh implements its new reform agenda, said a White House statement after the two leaders met on the sidelines of the UNGA in New York yesterday. The U.S. President congratulated Professor Yunus on his recent appointment as the head of the interim government of Bangladesh. students movement at the Clinton Global Initiative leader stage on the sidelines of the UNGA. Some of the leaders of the student movement are here, I guess. Yeah, what you see here, please stand up. The language I never heard that they speak about the world they want to build, the country they want to build for themselves, and they are ready behind it to make that happen. So please help them, support them, so that their dream comes true. And this is the responsibility we take together, and you'll be here with us in that dream, <laughs> making that dream come true. You will not recognize her, but when you see them in action, when you hear them speak, you'll be shaking. They shook the whole country by their speeches, by their dedication, their commitment. They said, you can kill us anytime you want, but we are not giving up. And he is known as to be the brain behind the whole revolution. So he denies it repeatedly. He's not me, many others. But that's how he's recognized that uh, he's the brain behind the whole thing. It's an amazing, meticulously designed thing. It's not just suddenly came, it's not like that. Very well designed. Even the leadership pattern, people don't know who the leaders. So you can't catch one and say, okay, it's over. It's not over. So it's a complete diversity. When they speak, the language, is something it inspire any young person anywhere, any person anywhere in the world. This is, these are the guys. Let's give them a big applause. For them. So this, this is the Bangladesh. They are the one creating the new version of Bangladesh. Let's with them, wish them a success. Thank you very much. Chief Advisor Professor Mohammad Yunus has sought cooperation from foreign friends to build a new Bangladesh dreamt by youth folks. Dr. Yunus said this at a reception hosted marking the 50th year of the Bangladesh's membership in the United Nations. Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni today called upon Bangladesh to open a new page in the relationship between Rome and Dhaka, saying Italians are friends of Bangladesh. She made the call when she met Dr. Yunus. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva has pledged support to Bangladesh's reform initiatives, saying the Washington-based lender has sent a team to Dhaka to hold talks with the stakeholders over the matter. Urging the international community to come forward to resolve the long-pending Rohingya crisis, the Nobel laureate said if this crisis is not resolved, not only Bangladesh but the entire region will also fall into trouble. 
প্রধান নেতৃত্বে মানে মহাসচিবের নেতৃত্বে একটা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কনফারেন্স অফ রোহিঙ্গা করার জন্য এবং এটা একটা বড় জিনিস এবং এটা হওয়ার পরে যে কানাডিয়ান যে প্রতিনিধি ছিলেন বব রে তিনি একদম উদাত্ত কণ্ঠে স্পষ্ট সমর্থন দিয়েছিলেন এবং বলেছেন যে আন্তর্জাতিক সমাজ যেন এইটাকে কেন্দ্র করে যেন আগায় এবং সেটা হচ্ছে অন্যদেরকে যেমন মার্কিন যুক্তরাষ্ট্রের উজ্জয়া ছিলেন দণ্ড ছিলেন এবং তারা সাতচারী সিগন্যালটা পেয়েছেন ইতালিতে যদি প্রচুর সংখ্যক আমরা বাংলাদেশে যেতে পারে লিগাল রুটে তো এটা তো অবশ্যই সবার জন্য একটা ওয়েলকাম নিউজ আর আইএমএফ তো আপনি জানেন আইএমএফ এর সহায়তা মানে কিন্তু আইএমএফ একা সহায়তা করে না তখন হয় কি পুরো মাল্টিলেটারাল যত এজেন্সি আছে তখন ওয়ার্ল্ড ব্যাংক ইন্টারেস্টেড হয় এডিবি ইন্টারেস্টেড হয় ইভেন প্রাইভেট ইনভেস্টররা ইন্টারেস্টেড হয় যে না এখানে আইএমএফ এর বাংলাদেশের উপর পুরোপুরি আস্থা আছে তখন ওরা সবাই আসে British MP Afsana Begum has called on the UK's National Crime Agency to investigate and take action regarding properties acquired by fascist Sheikh Hasina's land minister Saifu Zaman Choudhury Javed allegedly through corruption. Saifu Zaman reportedly has a property empire in Britain which includes 74 houses in the Bangladeshi dominated areas of Poplar and Lime House in East London. Bangladesh origin MP Apsana, who represents the constituency, wrote to the NCA, questioning what steps it was taking about the matter. In her letter addressed to NCA DG, Apsana referenced an Al Jazeera report on Saifu Zaman titled The Minister's Millions. Apsana noted that Bangladesh's Anti-Corruption Commission has launched a probe into Saifu Zaman regarding allegations related to embezzlement and claims that he had laundered millions of dollars into the UK. Advisor Sir the Rizwana Hassan has said Bangladesh will soon take steps to hold negotiations with India on the sharing of water of transboundary rivers. The negotiations will be held after considering public opinion and the outcomes of the talks will be shared with the people, Rizwana said while speaking at a seminar in the capital on Wednesday to mark World Rivers Day. এখন পানি ভাগা ভাগির বিষয়টা হয়তো অনেক জটিল দুই দেশের স্বার্থকে খুব সূক্ষ্মভাবে ব্যালেন্স করতে হয় কিন্তু কতগুলো বিষয় আছে সেগুলো কিন্তু এত জটিল না যেমন বন্যার পানি কখন বাংলাদেশে প্রবেশ করবে কি মাত্রায় প্রবেশ করবে বৃষ্টিপাতের মাত্রা কি বাংলাদেশে কতটুকুন প্লাবিত হওয়ার সম্ভাবনা আছে এগুলো তথ্য নিতান্ত মানবিক কারণেই শেয়ার করা উচিত এবং সম্ভব এটার মধ্যে রাজনীতি টেনে আনার কোনো প্রয়োজন নেই প্রয়োজন ছিল না সকল অভিন্ন জলরাশির উপর যেখানে যেখানে স্ট্রাকচার করছে এটা কেবল ভারত না চীন করলেও নেপাল করলেও কোথায় কোথায় স্ট্রাকচার হচ্ছে এটা আমাদের জানতে হবে এটা না জানলে আমাদের পানি ব্যবস্থা সম্পূর্ণভাবে একটা ঝুঁকির মধ্যে পড়ে যায় BNP senior leader Dr. Abdul Moin Khan has said the autocrat Awam League regime didn't allow opposition leaders to take proper treatment abroad. BNP chairperson Begum Khaldezia and Nagarik Oiko president Mahmoud Rahman Manna, among others, were deprived of their basic human rights. He said this while visiting BSMMU, where Manna is undergoing treatment. The BNP leader also alleged that a number of BNP leaders and activists were suppressed and oppressed during the Hasina's fascist autocratic regime. Aske theke dosh bochar age take kono chikitsa deya hoy nai. Deshnetri Begum Khaled Dazia kibhabe shei odhikar theke bonchito kora hoychilo. Manusher je moulik odhikar shei moulik odhikar gulo manusher firiye dite hobe. Shoilachari poribesh srishti korechilo bigoto 15 bochor dhore শেখ হাসিনার আওয়ামী লীগ সরকার তার বিরুদ্ধে প্রতিবাদ করেছে ছাত্র জনতারা and that's all from the news for now to know updates videos of this bulletin visit our website www.ntvbd.com besides visit our youtube and verified facebook page for updates of rent tv's all popular programs and bulletins our next bulletin shundar khobor will be aired in bangla at 7:30 pm thank you for being with us have a good time